section, I'm going to teach you how to use the decomposition method or the compact column method for subtraction. Let's start by reading the first question. 65 take away 27. First thing we need to do is subtract our ones. So I have five ones take away seven ones. Because I do not have enough ones here to take away seven, I have to borrow from the column next door. So I'm going to take one lot of 10 from the tens column, which leaves a tens column with five tens, and I'm going to give that lot of 10 to my ones column. Now I have 15 ones, and I'm going to take away seven ones. 15 ones take away seven ones is eight ones. Now I'm going to subtract my tens. I have five tens take away two tens, which leaves me with three tens. Therefore, my answer to 65 take away 27 equals 38. Let's try a slightly harder example involving hundreds. First, I'm going to start by reading the question. 754 take away 286. I need to begin my subtraction with my ones column. So I'm going to do four ones take away six ones. Again, I do not have enough ones to take away six, and therefore I need to borrow from the column next door. I'm going to take one lot of 10 from the tens column, which leaves a tens column with four tens, and I'm going to give the ones that carried 10. This leaves a ones column with 14 ones, and I'm going to take away six ones, which is eight ones. Now I'm going to subtract my tens. I have four tens take away eight tens. Again, I do not have enough tens to take away eight, and therefore I have to borrow from my column next door, or borrow from my hundreds. I'm going to take 100 from him, which leaves the hundreds column with six hundreds, and I'm going to carry that over to my tens column. This leaves me with 14 tens, and I'm going to take away eight tens, which is six tens. And finally, I'm going to subtract my hundreds. Six hundreds take away two hundreds, which is four hundreds. Therefore, the answer to 554 take away 286 equals 468.